NCG volunteers in Malaysia send multi-purpose floating beds to the isolation center. In Mali, volunteers bring second-hand assistive devices to a centenarian. Welcome to Die Headlines, I'm Sandy Yen. Thank you for joining us. In Sarawak, Malaysia, new cluster infections have continued to emerge in recent months. Upon knowing the lack of beds in the hospital, city volunteers immediately delivered jinx voting beds to the relevant quarantine centers to solve the problem. The coronavirus pandemic is still active in Malaysia, and Sarawak has recently been reported to have a new infection cluster. Local Tsuzu volunteers took the initiative to contact Marie and Subu General Hospital to offer a helping hand. A sister took the initiative to contact the hospital and asked what we could help with this pandemic. It just so happened that the hospital staff was also worried about how to set up a quarantine center. They would need some beds. So the hospital sent us a letter to borrow these things as folding beds. The auditorium of the Mary's Petronas Sports Village was temporarily converted into a quarantine center. Volunteers assisted in placing Jinsu folding beds and putting on matches so that patients could rest with peace of mind. Sibu General Hospital also faced the problem of lack of beds. Local Tsuzu volunteers lent out 120 Jinsu folding beds, which were distributed to the quarantine center by the hospital. Uh, some places we don't have uh, actual cartel. Uh, if you wish, I mean, uh, that's why I asked the other day, but no one replied, but uh, they, they are happy to bring some more. Actually. Under the pandemic, one can still feel the warmth of the world. A furniture store in Cebu proactively donated beds, contributing to the fight against the pandemic. I welcome and I am very grateful uh, for this. I hope uh, we can overcome this COVID soon. Uh, but don't worry, with the help of community, we can definitely get through. So thank you. In Taiwan, 86 Buddhist Dharma Masters have gathered at Tsuji Humanitarian Culture Center. As the pandemic impacts the world, they discuss how they can harmonize society through promotion of vegetarianism. Eighty-six Chinese and Tibetan Buddhist Dharma Masters have gathered to benefit living beings. To benefit the public, we need wisdom, compassion and strength. I think the source of strength is unity. We are all Buddhist disciples. Now, Tibetan, Chinese and Theravada Buddhist Dharma Masters are working together. This is very auspicious. As COVID-19 pandemic impacts the world, promotion of vegetarianism, which transcends religions, is much needed. Embracing vegetarianism is related to equal survival in the world. Buddhists should work hard to promote such ideal. This is needless to say, as we promote vegetarianism, we should see it as an activity that transcends religious boundaries. The workers have been working busily in the kitchen since early morning. With the help of city volunteers, Derling Temple has been promoting vegetarianism with the provision of kindness lunch boxes. We use kindness lunch boxes. Kindness transcends territories. Every religion and every organization can accumulate kindness. This is how we promote vegetarian food. Guangxiu Buddhist Temple in Xizhi has worked together with local temple to promote Buddhist teaching and benefit the public. In fact, Wangwu Jiuzi Temple embraces vegetarianism for more than 30 years. It also works with us Buddhist groups. Buddhist Dharma masters from different temples have joined hands with Ziji volunteers to promote vegetarianism and great love. In Taichung's Shijia Xingguang Twilight Market, Ziji volunteers have been promoting the plastic reduction campaign to the vendors and consumers. Here's more. To promote the plastic reduction campaign, Taichung Ziji volunteers headed over to Shi Jia Xingguang Twilight Market. The vendors have also responded enthusiastically. When our customers are purchasing the items, we'll then give them a discount if they prepare their own shopping bags. Some vendors provide discounts, while others proactively provide reusable shopping bags to the customers. Previously, we provided plastic bags, but now we've replaced the plastic bags with eco-friendly reusable shopping bags. Inside the market, Many customers have already responded to the environmental protection campaign and prepared their own shopping bags. It is very convenient practicing recycling and loving the earth. We need to practice environmental protection and not just treat it as a slogan. 
The management office of the market is also very supportive of this campaign. They have allowed the volunteers to promote the plastic reduction campaign using their PA system. <laughs> We'll broadcast through the PA system to let the vendors know that we are promoting this campaign. We can also enable the consumers to clearly understand the aim of our campaign. For the stalls with plastic reduction campaign stickers, when consumers are buying items, not only do they receive a discount, but they are also doing their part in environmental protection by not using plastic bags. An investigation was carried out by Greenpeace this year on the use of plastic packaging in supermarkets and mass merchandise stores. The statistics shows the rate of using plastic packaging in 2021 is 4% higher than 2019. How to truly implement plastic reduction is an important issue that we need to face. At a store, Almost all fruits and vegetables are wrapped in plastic packaging, which is already a daily routine for most people. I personally prefer having packaging because it feels like more clean. It is almost impossible to buy those without packaging. If I need to get it from a supermarket, I don't mind having the packaging because it is more convenient to take. The government has greatly promoted plastic reduction, but Greenpeace has visited 67 stores across Taiwan. It is found that the overall plastic packaging was 86.4% in 2019, whereas it has grown to 90.4% this year. Many companies have changed to use biodegradable plastic PLA, but they didn't tell the consumers about this. In fact, it does not help reduce the amount at the source. Instead, it increases the processing pressure at the end. But this company's approach will mislead consumers into thinking that PLA can be degraded in natural environment. An experiment was done to test whether the PLA packaging used in the stores is biodegradable. By simulating the actual environment, the PLA packaging was buried in soil or river or left on soil. It was found that after 55 days, its weight had not changed and there was no signs of decomposition. It is also found that carry for even uses also biodegradable plastic bags that were banned by the European Union three years ago, which will lead to an increase of microbes in the environment. I hope the public will support and encourage companies to reduce plastic usage, that is to eliminate plastic packaging directly from the source and use naked packaging. It is necessary to have a special composting plant with high temperature and high humidity for PLA to decompose. However, Taiwan does not have such a field currently. Plastic reduction must start with everyone with practical actions. The small water ditches in front of your house are now feasible to install water turbines in these channels to generate electricity. Today in our report, we will investigate the new technology allowing many to make the best use of these water resources. Electricity bill sent by Thai Power is zero as his family has not paid an electricity bill for a long time. My battery has 25 watts of electricity, so if there is no sunlight or water power, I can use it for at least three to five days. Living independently, Yo Sihan's home is located in the woods. He erected water pipes on the hillside behind him and used mountain spring water to generate electricity. Because it is tail water, if you don't use it, it will drain off. I will turn it on now, and it will light up immediately. This is a situation where there is no stored electricity. When the water continues to flow, the lights continue to light up and the indoor lights are used at higher levels. Because I'm close to the mountain, my efficiency is very good. My battery pack can be fully charged for about four hours. Yo Suhan stores electricity generated by himself, which is enough to supply all kinds of household appliances. He is not afraid of typhoons or power outages. Even if the environment and climate change, he can deal with it. One year, it didn't rain all the time in the summer. From that time on, the water efficiency was not good, so I set up solar panels, using solar energy in the summer and relying on the water to make up for it in winter. Power can be generated on sunny or rainy days, and these natural resources are right next to you. In our current location, the speed per second is about 20 RPM, but there is a transmission here, which will magnify it by 30 times, and then drive the generator. If this generator has 600 RPM, it can start working. The electric wires were laid for 200 meters. At this time, the electricity generated by the water power has been transmitted back to the Green Energy Office in the community. 
The electricity of the water wheel is direct current. Only when it comes out of our transformer can it be stable. Otherwise, the light will flash and flash, indicating that the voltage is unstable. This energy distribution box measures the electricity coming in from hydroelectric power generation and also calculates the power consumption. This is the ice we made with green electricity. Although ice cubes are easy to buy, they are produced by water power generation, proving that there are various possibilities for micro hydropower generation. In terms of disaster prevention, it is also of great help. This is very good as it will not pollute. Using other power will cause pollution. Power supply to homes is not needed here. Just like when we are in this community, there are few people who seem foolish, and when more and more people understand, he will also slowly tell others. Only two people are needed to install a water turbine in less than 10 minutes. Community experiments have confirmed that if there is a small river, it can be used to generate electricity. Okay. Use our experience to tell the government that its energy is better than solar energy, especially in the east, which operates continuously 24 hours a day. As long as we have 10 units, we will have a few watts a day. 60 to 80 watts is more than enough for a family. After you send out the electricity to the community within 500 meters, if your community is higher than 100 meters, or even 1 kilometer to 2 kilometers away, the efficiency will be lower, because the longer the line, the more electricity lost in the transmission. The electricity generated by the community is used by the community, and the electricity generated here is used locally. This is the benefit of small water power. The small hydropower is still lacking in Taiwan. We need to let them know, through this competition, how the resources of small hydropower can be used. Not just for river irrigation, maybe they can also be used for its power storage. Taoyuan Daxing Senior High has participated in small water power competitions for four consecutive years. There's been a trend of discussing green energy among seniors and younger students. The structure is very important. For different power generation methods, there must be different structures to deal with. Based on the concept of environmental protection, when designing hydroelectric power generation, we saw the electric fan and we thought of this. In this hallway corridor, it is difficult to measure as one hose is not enough and the force of two water hoses is enough to drive it. They can directly understand how to generate electricity and why it is generated like this. Learning about hydropower on campus can be seen as it is now used for bites, and in our next episode, we'll continue to explore and how it can be used even more creatively. At Miaoli's Tsuji Ground, assistive devices have been recycled and distributed for more than 20 years. In our next report, let's see how they make good use of these second-hand assistive devices. A truckload of assistive devices, including electric medical beds, was successfully delivered to the Wei family. The youngest son, Wei Sengxing, applied to Tsuji for the service five days ago. There are no conditions as it can give infinitely. I just said I'll enjoy it first, and maybe Tsuji's great love can inspire me to do a little more, and I can do this in the future. Wei's grandmother is 100 years old and has seven children who take turns to accompany her by the bed 24 hours a day. Zhang Meiyu, who also has a 100-year-old mother-in-law, came here to take care of her. Others gifted this and we send it out for everyone to use, and it allows resources be recycled so it won't create a lot of waste. The Miaoli Zhiji Recycling Station started to recycle assistive devices more than 20 years ago and then forwarded them to those in need. Zhang Meiyu not only used an electric bed for her 100-year-old mother-in-law, but also her daughter, who was in a car accident. All are benefactors of second-hand assistive devices. The items I lend to everyone are all good, and you come to borrow things first. And items we have arranged must be lent to you first. I won't give you the damaged ones. You are already sick. If you have a bad infection, it can become even worse. So it's all good things for other people. Responding to every request helps reduce the burden on family members and make good use of resources to create the most value. 
Ciji Foundation promotes home improvement projects in various communities across Taiwan, hoping to improve the safety of homes of elderly residents. Recently, in Keelong, a neighborhood chief reported to two households which need assistance. Grandpa Chen, who had a stroke 20 years ago, still limps when he walks as many are concerned about his safety at home. Ciji volunteers have promoted a home improvement project in the community. The neighborhood chief was the one who reported two elders in need. The one we just saw had a stroke 20 years ago. He still goes for five days of rehabilitation a week and uses a walker. And another is a woman who is in her 70s and suffering from poor health. In order to better understand the needs of the elders, Ziji volunteers will conduct advanced surveys and then will quickly install handrails. Thank you, Ziji, for helping me install these rails. My feet are unstable, and after using this bathroom, I can use this safety rail, which makes it much easier. In addition to the handrails that were installed, volunteers also found that the lighting in this elderly woman's house was insufficient as they thoughtfully installed electric lights in her toilet. Because she often suffers from hematic coma, for example, she may feel grogy and though we tell her not to go, she still wants to walk. Holding the handrail is stronger and safer, which is really important. After these home improvements, their lives at home will be relatively safer and the risk of falling at home will be avoided. I'm very happy that after doing this today, the elders also seem to be very satisfied. Safeguarding the health of elders has been a priority for Ziji volunteers who continue to provide comprehensive care to the community. Kaohsiung Shanlin district is relatively remote, but elders there know how to maintain good health. For many elders, long-term care locations help them keep up their physical and mental health through various activities. Early in the morning, the music plays and elders accompanied by volunteers come to the long-term care sea level center at Shanling's Dai village. After warming up, the elders can learn Jingsa aphorisms even if they can't read Chinese characters. The volunteer specially designed a puzzle featuring Jingsa aphorisms. While passing and familiarizing themselves with the words, even centenarians are full of energy. How old am I? I am 101 years old. Exercise can make my health better. If I don't do it, I'll just be sleeping at home, which will rot my bones. This long-term care center takes care of the health of the elders. And a healthy mind may be attributed to this Buddhist painting class. Elders in the Shanling district focus on health preservation and learning. A 91-year-old elder also loves to learn how to draw Buddha. After retiring, I think it's too boring at home. There's a painting class here in Dai village. It just happens I'm interested in, so I came here to learn. This Buddhist painting class attracts many elders who enjoy the art of painting as well as meditating and rejoicing together. We draw young novice monks so that they may experience the joy of little monks who smile very happily. This is the main reason why I'm here to start this Buddhist painting class. Teachers and volunteers guide each student carefully, letting the elders find a sense of accomplishment and peace of mind through continuous learning. In Taiwan, Ciji volunteers in Taipei and Banqiao got together to set up the stage at Shanghe Jingzi Hall for the musical adaptation of Lotus Sutra to celebrate Ciji's 55th anniversary. Take a look. To reach the fourth floor, volunteers use a crane to move items. After unloading the boards, volunteers move them manually, but they face difficulties. It is very troublesome to move the boards manually. The door is only two meters wide. You cannot move the boards horizontally because the board is 240 centimeters long. They switch to pulling manually and are successful. There are eight wheels under the boards. 
Four wheels have been installed in a worn board, and it is very helpful in moving. After about 20 years of use, it's still very practical, as it is made by an experienced electrician. I work at the laundry factory, and those machines are very heavy. We have to use equipment to move them. You must calculate the weight of each item. Whether it's 500 kilograms and one ton, you can just adjust the weight of each item. Displaying four green lines, the laser level weighs a kilogram. It is able to turn 360 degrees and does a faster job than traditional tools. It is five to six times faster. If we use the traditional tools, it will be very troublesome. As we use this laser level, we can find the vertical and horizontal lines. The volunteers check the works against the blueprint. On the side, a carpenter is also at work. Because there's an upper stage and a downstage, we work in separate teams and then combine the work. We work as a team to accomplish the stage for March 10. City volunteers in Banqiao and Shuanghe work together to put together the stage, displaying their unity and coherence. March 3rd marks the World Hearing Day, a campaign to prevent young children from losing hearing ability. In Taiwan, as many as 3 in 1,000 newborns have hearing impairments. Despite that, with therapies, children can overcome their impairment. Yan Yan, who is in fourth grade, loves to sing. One cannot tell that she has severe hearing impairment. With the advancement of modern technology, we are able to hear the child talk and sing. Or else, 30 years ago, I might not be able to hear she call me mom. We told her how to pronounce each sound. This is fur and this is mo. The rate of newborns having severe hearing impairment is one in a thousand. Adding that to mild or single-year hearing impairment, the rate is about three in one thousand. To ensure children can grow up being healthy, Health Promotion Administration implements the 1316 principles. It encourages newborn to undergo hearing screening within one month of birth. If he does not pass, he needs to undergo more complete checkup in three months. Once hearing impairment is detected, he chooses assistive device in one month and receives early therapy before he's six months old. The policy helps hearing impaired children develop their language abilities. The music exercise class is one of them. It combines games and lessons. The frequency of music is wider than most conversations. Through different frequency, vibration and other qualities, it helps children in terms of hearing and language development. Maybe we need a national speech language therapy center. It should provide the policy for newborn hearing development and assistive device and therapies. I think this way our parents and children will be able to walk a longer journey. As NGOs work hard to gather resources, they hope the government can provide a more comprehensive policy to help hearing impaired children. Suji USA had a Lunar New Year greeting activity in Walnut Campus, inviting people to join them by drive-thru. We'll leave you with these images. Thank you for watching. See you next time.